Coming of the King 25 Readings for Advent by J.C. Wright Compiled and edited by Mary Davis and published by tenofthose.com Hello and welcome to day six of our Advent readings, Watch and Pray. Today we will be reading from Matthew chapter 24, verses 36 to 51. But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other is left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill, one will be taken and the other left. Therefore keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have left his house to be broken into. So you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom the Master has put in charge of the servants in his household to give them their food at the proper time? It will be good for that servant whose master finds him doing so when he returns. Truly I tell you, he will put them in charge of all of his possessions. But suppose that servant is wicked and says to himself, My master is staying away a long time, and then he begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards. The master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he is not aware of. He will cut him into pieces and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Something that demands our attention in these verses is the practical duty of watchfulness in the prospect of Christ's second coming. Watch, therefore, says our Lord, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming, and be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. This is a point which our blessed Master frequently presses upon our notice. We hardly ever find him dwelling in his second advent without adding a warning to watch. He knows the sleepiness of our nature. He knows how soon we forget the most important subjects in our faith. He knows how unceasingly Satan labours to obscure the glorious doctrine of his coming again. He arms us with heart-searching exhortations to keep awake, if we desire not to be ruined forevermore. May we all have an ear to hear them. True Christians ought to live like watchmen. The day of our Lord comes like a thief in the night, so Christians should strive to always be on their guard. They should behave like the guard of an army in an enemy's land. They should resolve by God's grace to not sleep at their post. That text of Paul deserves much thought. Let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 6. True Christians ought to live as servants whose master is not home. They should strive to always be ready for their master's return. They should never give way to the feeling, my Lord delays his coming. They should seek to keep their hearts in such a state that whenever Christ appears, they may at once give him a warm and loving reception. There is a vast depth in that saying, Blessed is the servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. We may well doubt whether we are true believers in Jesus if we are not ready at any time to have our faith changed into sight. Let us close with serious feelings. The things that we have just been reading called loudly for great searchings of heart. Let us seek to make sure that we are in Christ and have an ark of safety when the day of wrath breaks on this world. Let us pray. Righteous Lord, you tell me to watch and be ready. Help me to live as an attentive sentry, on my guard, not asleep at my post. I confess that I am so easily distracted by the worries and pleasures of this life. 
in the quietness of this moment, reveal to me where I have taken my eyes off you. Help me to live as a faithful servant whose master is not at home, ready to give him a warm and loving reception when he returns. May I have an ark of safety when the day of wrath breaks on this world. May I love and pray for wake up to these truths. Amen. <laughs>